Today's look's going to be inspired by Katy Perry, and I say inspired because this is obviously not one of her famous makeup looks or anything, but I was looking at some of the pictures in magazines, and I really got inspired by all of the bright eyeshadows that she wears, and she's definitely, you know, have her unique style going on. It brought back a lot of memories because when I first started on YouTube, I used to do a lot of dramatic bright eyeshadow kind of looks. I love the pinks and purples. They were my favorite, and um, after looking at the magazine, I said, I haven't really done done anything like that lately. I've been gearing more towards the wearable, you know, looks, um, more natural, neutral tones, and um, I kind of just got away from what I started with, which was bright eyeshadows, really dramatic looks, which I loved. And granted, they're not everyday looks, but it, they're perfect for going out, catching some attention, looking completely different, which is something that I'm really big on, you know, not looking like everybody else or you know, following a certain trend just because it's in or because a color's not in for the season. You know, that's totally not me and I'm totally not for that kind of thing. Um, I live in Vegas. You can wear this every single day. Doesn't matter if it's night, day, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just like something that you just do and everybody's okay with it. So. I figured I'd do this tutorial because it's really um, a really beautiful look. Um, I got really inspired. It brought back a lot of memories. I really enjoyed doing this tutorial and I hope that you all find it helpful as well. Um, as you can see, I do have a cut crease going on. Uh, pur purple, pink, black, orange, yellow tones, um, some shimmering gray tones. Um, just tons tons of colors so I hope you all enjoy it and if you want to learn how to achieve this makeup look keep on watching all right so I'm gonna start off by applying my Urban Decay primer potion right on the lid then I will be taking my Urban Decay 24-7 um, glide pencil and I'm going to be applying it um, just so I can start creating my crease so I'm going past the crease pretty high up Bring it all the way in and being very light handed and making this a little bit thicker but not extremely dark just like so then I will be taking my uh, 120 palette number two and I'll be taking this bright pink color and I'm going to be taking my smudger brush which I will be using a couple of times um, in this video and I will be taking a little bit of that pink and applying it right where we applied that purple and as you can see it's a very very bright pink and then I'm just going to blend it out and the purple eyeliner, I could have used pink, but the purple eyeliner will make this pink a little bit darker. It'll create a different tone. Be sure not to go uh, below the crease, just so that we have a really nice defined crease there. Just like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Stila number nine brush, which is just a fluffy brush. Take um, a lighter pink, which is right above the bright one we just used, which is this one right here. Blend this out. So you're gonna apply it right past that bright pink and then just blend. Just blend, blend, blend. And you wanna take your time with this only because it can be a little time consuming. I'm gonna add a little bit of the bright pink right on the crease just so that there's a nice transition, just like that. So that dark purple right on the center is really gonna help us with um, knowing exactly where our colors are gonna go. I'll be taking my MAC 272 brush, which is a nice angled brush. So I'm going to be taking the dark purple color that you see right here. I will be placing that right on my crease. And then blending upward. Alright, so just like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my fluffy brush again and take a little bit of the darker pink and then continue on blending. So it's coming together already. We're gonna go ahead and move on and take my um, angled brush. This is another 272 I have. You can take any angled brush that you have. And from the palette, I'm going to be taking the matte black color on there. And I will be placing this right on the crease area. 
Now yes, you could just start off with black and then just cut all of these steps but it won't look the same. So I know that this is like a little bit longer, but the transition when you kind of connect all the colors together, it really, really makes a big difference. So I'm going ahead and just bringing this all the way in right on the crease area, blending it out. Then I'm going to be taking another fluffy brush and taking the dark purple and applying it right past the black and then just blending these colors out. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my Mimi eyeshadow brush, um, which is the 228 by MAC, and I will be taking that black matte color that I just took, and then getting really precise right on the crease. I'm really defining this crease right here, just so it looks awesome. So you can use a black eyeliner if you'd like, I just find this a lot easier, it doesn't smudge or anything, so it works best for me. Bring it all the way in. Make sure there's no harsh lines. A nicely blended look. <laughs> and then I'm going to be taking um, my Stila number no. five brush, which is a large stiff eyeshadow. I'll be taking a white eyeshadow from the palette, which is just a basic white color, and um, placing this as my highlight. And then blending out these eyeshadows. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and take a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be taking my MAC 213 brush. So um, I will be using both sides uh, for this tutorial. I will be taking a very bright yellow from this palette right here and I'll just be taking the brightest yellow and applying it right on my lid and packing it on there just so it's super bright like this. And be careful with the fallout. The good thing is that this is not a dark color. Um, but definitely, if you don't want that fallout, make sure you have a powder like I do um, so it comes off easily. Just like that. After we do the yellow, and make sure you pack that on there good so it doesn't go anywhere, um, you will be taking the same palette and taking the bright orange color and getting really precise and applying it right past the yellow and then just blend right where they meet. Then with the mini eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna take some more of that black eyeshadow and um, touch up the crease again, just because um, some of those colors touch the crease. And I don't want it to fade out. Now I'm gonna go apply my white eyeliner in Fascinating by MAC. This will make your eyes appear a lot bigger. Then I will be taking my um, black shimmery, um, eyeliner it's like a diamond pencil and then I will be applying this right as close to the lash line as possible using my mini eyeshadow with a little bit of black not too much just to kind of blend this out a little bit so it's not so harsh so then with that same um, black eyeliner or dark gray eyeliner I'm going to be applying this right under my eye and making a very thick line here so I'm bringing it all the way in. Make sure you don't touch your waterline. Making it thinner on the inner part and then making it thicker on the outer part of the eye. Then with my um, smudger brush, I'm just wiping it with a Kleenex here. I will be using it to blend this out. All right, so I think I got him pretty close and I'm really happy about that because it is tricky when doing a really like cut crease or a very defined kind of look. It can be a little tricky. So next I will be applying my false eyelashes. And the ones I will be applying today are going to be the 120 Demi in black. So you can get these from any drugstore or anything like that. So I will be applying those and then I will get right back to you all. All right, so that finalizes our makeup look. Just so y'all know, on my cheeks, I am wearing NARS Orgasm, which is really pretty toned, perfect for this time of the year. I also have tons of bronzers on because I tanned, I spray tanned a little bit, and I also put some of this um, terracotta spray, which is like a bronzing spray um, from Guerlain, and I really liked it because it kind of evens out everything because sometimes when you tan, you can kind of like get different tones depending on how much you do it and blah blah blah. So um, you can't really get the foundation to the perfect tone. So I decided to get this and it kind of like evened everything out. It worked great. On my lips, I'm wearing Bobbi Brown's Rich Color Gloss in Pale Peony, number 13. This is not a sample, guys. This is what they give you when you buy it. 
<laughs> it's super small, I know. So, um, just so you know, that's all I have on my lips. And, um, like I said, tons of bronzers and all that stuff. And that's pretty much it. So, this is the look. I really ended up loving this look. Brought back a lot of great memories. And I was really excited. I was like, oh, this brings back when I first started on YouTube. And, you know, I was just... Uh, learning and now I've just come such a long way so it was really nice to kind of you know reminisce and think of all those times thanks so much you all for joining me um uh, for watching for subscribing I appreciate all of the support and I will see you all soon with another video or a tutorial so I'll see y'all soon take care bye